Hi, Dave Snyder here. It is the first day of June 2015. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of people that find their truth in science and a lot of people that find their truth in religion. And and there is a lot of truth in both, but there's a lot of, mis of disinformation and, mis and, and, and non-truth in both, is the way I see it. Anyways, I... I take a more common sense approach to things, you know what I mean? The way I that's the way I see it anyway. I know there's intelligent, scientifically minded people out there that are that are good at what they 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 know a lot of things about science, but it, it traps them in a, in a it traps them in that scientific world where they cannot break outside that realm because if they go against any of it, it disrupts the whole program, you know what I mean? I'm not stuck in any either one of those religion or science any of that I can go any which way I want and it doesn't embarrass me to be uh, discredited or or my reputation uh, I don't even care about that I don't care about re but they do they have to there's like a I've, I've reached out to many of the intelligent scientifically minded people that are on YouTube and tried to show them the things that I see and they end up turning it into something else that it's not you know what I mean like earth spots and things like that okay I, I, I pointed that out to him along those places a while back right about the time he started talking about the earth spots was right after I, I had pointed this whole thing out to that guy and uh, he's gonna he wants to continue to hold back that information from you and just tell you what's what the results will be from this from those things but not give you the actual uh, thing that does it right anyways I look at it like this so let's say you got a pile of shoes and none of them say what size it is right there's no tag inside that tells you what size any of them shoes are but you know your foot is a size 12 right okay so you put on the shoes until you find the one that fits just right well now you know that shoe is a size 12 because you know your foot's a size 12 so that you know that shoe is a size 12 now because even though it don't say it you know it okay so it's the same thing with the moon and the earth it's the same thing we know the size of the Tibetan plateau okay we know the size because we we live here and we know it we just know the size okay but the moon you don't know what size it is you're told what size it is but you you don't know what size it is just because they tell you it's a, some size they don't know you don't know that but when you take the moon and you flip it over and you put it over these areas of the earth and it just happens to fit every time it should tell you what size that shoe is the moon is because it just I mean it does it every time it's consistently the same size now let me just give you an example of what I did earlier I, I made a comment yesterday about the spot in India right here this spot earlier it looked a little bit more uh, I'll show you a picture from earlier in a minute but I was talking about this spot in India or near India, whatever, and I was talking about the spot in Texas where the wet that was there, you know, during the, the heavy rain, it's not there now, but it was there, you know, last few days, or when it was rain, when it was flooding, and I'll show you that picture too, and uh, let's just, let me get, stick with the size thing for now, let me just show you, okay, so on my Google Earth, I saved that picture of, uh, there's, te there's the spot in Texas I was talking about, anyways, let me, let me just get down here to show you what's going on here this picture right here I saved earlier from the same from the Tibetan plateau you can see this is the that desert there this is India right here this is uh, what's we call it a uh, Thailand right here and here's that spot it's right along the Himalayas it moves around this spot does though it does move around it tends to move around in this area a little bit but anyways I aligned it I took this picture and it may look a little big right here bigger than it does up there but it you know it's it, it doesn't make any difference if I'm making it bigger or whatever I'm just trying to show you the size and that it fits okay so anyways this is a picture of the moon reversed right here of the Mare Oriental Basin and this is just as crater is bigger than the size they say the moon is I mean we can measure it right now I'm just gonna go from this edge or no let's just go from this edge right here to right here 3,000 miles in diameter they they say the moon is smaller than that right 
what the, basically what they're telling you is the moon is the size of the crater that it leaves on the earth practically okay so anyways let's just get to how this fits in there okay so every time I know that that spot is this crater every time every single time that spot is that crater I have no doubt I've researched it for years now but now look at the center as well look at the center of the crater see the spot right here that's the center it's showing you that in the weather so now I have those two places aligned very well I mean not very well but aligned good enough and you can see how the rest fits in here look it does fit in there it, uh, look at this right here see this curved area right here see the curve right here look at this on, on the moon I mean you can see it's aligned pretty well but that is the center right there that's the center and you can see it you can see that you can see it in here there's a round right like right here there is the center of that and this is the highest plateau on the earth it's the highest elevation of any plateau or anything on the earth right Mount Everest is right in here it's just super high in the air what would happen if this crater was already a crater like this and it hit the earth this part when it hit the earth would leave a high point a high area compared to the outer area it would leave a high place like the Tibetan plateau I'm just guessing that's just my guess if, if the crater was already here or maybe even if it wasn't already there when it pulled away it may have pulled up the, the Tibetan plateau it's it's you know that's leave that for the scientists to figure that out but but you can't really do that because they want to give you a different story but if this is the size of this area on the earth then I would have to imagine that this size this is the size it is on the moon because I look at it this way if, if it pulled that area up from if the moon was away from the earth and it pulled this area somehow from space up this Tibetan plateau if it pulled it up from space I don't know how it would be able to why this area in the center would pull this area higher than it would pull the outside areas you know what I'm saying so it had to hit it it had to hit the earth in, in religion they will dodge that every time they will they will say it's they will call it God they will call it Jesus they will call it everything but what it is and I know that's gonna upset maybe it might upset some religious people but I'm, I'm just saying that's the way I what I get from the religious part I agree with a lot of things with the, uh, the way that they tell the story in a way but they just change the names which makes it confusing again let's just say I mean let's just call it what it is same with the earth spot bullshit I don't agree with that it's not an earth spot this is not an earth spot how is that an earth spot it's on the earth but is it how it's not from the earth it was created by that crater right there same with the one in Texas that's the same place and you wonder how that it did it's got this spot here and then it's got the same spot in Texas how could that happen unless it hit both places it's something to do with the way that it's the continents are created in the same location where where it was impacted and created the eruption that created each continent at a different time or they were on top of each other that's a difficult part to figure out and I'm not saying I know how that works yet but that is the same spot let me just show you here's the one in Texas <clears throat> I aligned this the other day and just take a look at the way that this cuts in right here it is the same thing that's those floods were from that spot in Texas that's where the heavy rain was and that's what creates that spot is that crater and we can look at the rest you can see where this all the it usually will fit better and it usually it will usually have a center in there pretty much but this is a, a little different alignment than I usually show but you can see all this up here the curve it's all in there and I'm not saying this is a perfect alignment but it is it is what it is people it tells you that the moon is not small and if you think it just pulls the tides you're 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 crazy it does not just pull the tides it does not just pull the tides it has something to do with magnetism not just gravity
just saying this spot right there and people wonder how come why why would this show the lunar south pole pattern on some days and then on the other days it shows the mare oriental basin well some days it shows the the, the aiken basin it actually shows all three of them at the same time every day it's just a, it shows fragments of each one or something like that but it's it was from being the earth being impacted by different sides of the moon on the same spot on the earth or something that way we have to figure that out too i haven't got that figured out but i know that it's a consistent deal with the size of these patterns over the earth they are all large and if the shoe fits that's what size the moon is they say that everyone wants to, everybody has no problem believing that a mars sized planet hit the earth billions of years ago and from that it coalesced and created the moon maybe so but it didn't create a small moon it created a, another mars sized planet at least at least they say that you know that i get a lot of i get a lot of stuff from sailor moon believe it or not and people think that that's funny and that you th you th I don't think it discredits me whatsoever because I've learned more for that from that show than anything else I've ever seen it's the most truthful show on the planet as far as I'm concerned because it tells you the truth the moon does destroy the planet the moon will come back it the sec the second coming of Christ well hold on I gotta pause <clears throat>